Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today I'm just whipping up a super fast and easy DIY all natural carpet freshener. And it's really just a couple of ingredients. Um, I use, I save these shaker tops from the Parmesan cheese. And they fit right on top of a regular mouth mason jar. They fit right on nice. So um, I just say, I always save these. And I use them for spices. I use them for carpet freshener. Um, whatever it is that you're going to um, use it for. They work for tons of stuff. They've got the shaker on one side and it has the little scoop thing on the other side so you can pour it out or whatever but these are super handy so we're just going to whip this up real quick and it's just a couple of ingredients i'm going to use um baking soda is so good and all natural in it it's super great for cleaning up your um any kind of cleaning you can use it and uh i'm just going to pour this all right in here because it was a little more than half a box but you can make this in bigger batches as you want or as little batches as you want it really doesn't matter okay so I just pour it in a bowl that way it's easy to mix um, you can do this right in the jar but you have to shake it for quite a long time and it's hard to get everything mixed really thoroughly in the jar so I usually do it in a bowl and then I'm I'm gonna do just some nice citrus fresh citrus scents I've got some orange here lemon and i'm going to put a little bit of lime in it also because i just those three scents are just so fresh and clean i love that so i'm going to put like 10 drops in here and that's good for the orange and then we'll do another oh that smells so good another 10 drops of lemon Or right about that there's no science if you want it stronger you can add more oils to it and if you want it not so strong you can add less oils to it but I find that you don't you don't need tons of it if you make it pretty strong so I'm just gonna put like three four drops of the lime in there just a little bit of the lime and then I'm gonna mix these all together and try and get this all through it kind of balls up a little bit in the in the baking soda so you just I kind of smash it out and just keep smashing it out until there, there's no clumpies or anything oh this smells so good I love having a nice fresh clean house you know, we got four kids, so keeping it smelling nice in here is a challenge sometimes. And we have dogs and, you know, all that good stuff. Had a few chickens in here, too. <laughs> They're not feeling well. You can't leave them out there. You gotta bring them in. Give them some love. All right, so once you have this all mixed up really good, and there's no more clumps of the oil anywhere, I just kind of keep smashing it. I'm gonna go kind of slow. I like to make a mess. But then we're just going to put this in a jar. So we're just going to spoon this right into the jar. You don't have to worry about your animals getting into this or anything. There's really nothing that can hurt them. There's so much baking soda here. It, the essential oils there's so little essential oils you don't have to really worry about those at all I mean you could some people do eat essential oils and I have heard of people giving them to their dogs we don't give them to our dogs a little bit of lavender once in a while when we pet them but not too much oils and we don't feed them to them they're just too volatile but that's it simple and easy
we just put our cover on and you can mix it up and you just give it a couple shakes on the carpet simple and easy and then vacuum it up and your carpet smells wonderful and you can do this with any essential oils that you like um, any scents if you really love lavender you could just do straight lavender or straight lemon or you can mix them up that's what I love about this is you can really do it your way and it's all natural and it's perfect I love it I've been doing this for years and years if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe we'll see you in the next video bye